mean everything to me because I know you mean everything to Christ. And Christ means everything to me. And I called on the Lord. I said, yeah. the Father, this is real. Will you watch over me? Will you raise him up to be strong? I don't, I, I'm just a man with flesh. This is what you call for in your scriptures. You said they wore studs and fringes, they got it on. You said they are follow the law, they doing it. You said under your house shine, they ought to love one another. Are they doing it? that there's a lot of people who are African that are not informed. Well, well, that's what I'm telling you. The only people who don't know is the people who are descended from the transatlantic slaves. That's right. So now let's start there. You're right. So now let's start right there. Give me Babylon to Timber. Can I show you, can I show you some history that the slaves are not African? That the slaves are actually Jews, the real Jews. And where did they come which, from? Which means, I'm going to get to you. One second. Huh? Jews too and Africans. Not Jews too and Africans. You can't be two things. According to the Bible, according to the Bible, you are the seed of your father. Meaning whatever your father is. I agree with that. That's what. That's something they made up right there. White Jews and something they made up. Exactly. That's a, a matter of history. Give him a hand. You're informed about that, though. And, and Jesus. He had hair like wool. And, and skin like what? But he ain't no African. He's a Jew. That's right. Like you. That's right. Like you. You get the point? Exactly. He definitely don't look like that. He look more like you. We ain't come from Africa at all. We ain't come from. We were sold from there. You buy bananas in Giant and Safeway, there ain't no banana tree in Safeway. The banana come from somewhere else. Hold on, sis, it's class. I'm gonna get to you. You got time. No sweat. Not yet. She ain't in class yet. If she was in class, she'd have known how to interrupt when men talking. She gonna get there though. You gonna buy something from a place that don't mean to grow there. We were sold from the coast of Africa, but that was the marketplace of slaves. Exactly. We ain't originated here. But we ain't originate there. Tell them where you are. So this is page 84. I'm from Babylon to Timbuktu. This is Babylon to Timbuktu. Rudolph R. Windsor. This show me front of the book like you. Rudolph R. Windsor, he's a historian. And he did the research, and this is what he found. In the year 65 BC, the Roman army under General Pompey captured Jerusalem. In 70 AD, General Vespasian and his son Titus put an end to the Jewish state. Right, so in 70 AD, 70 years after Christ, the Roman general, hold on one second, brother. Just, just, just stick with me for a second, all right? Just follow with me. The Roman generals put an end to the Jewish state. They invaded Jerusalem, much like how it was going on over there now. The Romans came down and invaded Jerusalem, and look what happened. With great slaughter. During the period of the military governors of Palestine, many out, out sorry, many outrages and atrocities were committed against the residue of the people. Uh -huh. During the period from Pompeii to Julius, it has been estimated that over a million Jews fled into Africa. It is, uh, during the period from Pompeii to Julius, it has been estimated that over one million Jews fled into Africa. Where did the Jews run to when the Romans invaded? Why would if Jew and if the if the real Jews are white, why would one million Jews flee? I'm just asking you a question. Listen to what I'm saying. Do you, you want to answer the question or no? I, I try to bring you up on a level up because you ain't no African. I'm telling you straight up. I'm from the science. Here. I'm telling you for real. Who you are? That's right. Who 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 does who do they say is the Jewish people today? Who does say is the real Jews today? White people. Why everybody else that says converts? Now what I'm asking you is historically, 
Historically, if white, why would one million white people run to Africa if they're white? Why would they do it? The only reason you run into Africa is to hide among other brown or dark skinned people. The real Jews were not white. The real Jews were black. That's how we got into Africa. And hundreds of years later, that's why we were sold. Because we were mixed among them. Not mixed physically, but in living spaces. That's because we were hiding from the Romans. What do you, what do you mean when you say blackest continent in the world? Africa has the largest population of Africans. Black people are scattered throughout America, South America, North America, and the Caribbean islands. It's a difference between being black and being African. Africans will tell you I ain't black. All them Africans in Hollywood. Barack Obama, what did he say? I'm not a black president. I'm America's president. Is Barack Obama black? Why, why is he representing everybody if he's black? Is he black? Is he black? I'm asking. Is Barack Obama black? With what? His father is an African from Kenya. Right. So, no, no, he's an African. It doesn't matter what the mother is. If you plant an orange seed in the ground in America, what grows? An orange, right? If you plant an orange seed in America, what grows? An orange? If you plant an orange seed in, in China, what grows? An orange? Does the orange look different? Does it have small little eyes like Chinese people? It's still an orange, right? It don't matter where you plant the seed, what grows is of the seed. Same way with people. If a black man has sex with anything, what comes out is black. If a white man has sex with anything, regardless of the color, what comes they, out is white. They but then you just the white, the but, but then you they just said you But then you just said because of your brown But then you just said because of your brown skin, you think you African. So then you might be racist like them. But you you just associated with yourself based on the color of your skin. How you know that? Where you get that from? Okay, so what is the stuff you have mixed in you? Well, then you're guessing. Give me First Thessalonians 5 and 21. That's why they're trying to get everybody to go to Ancestry and put the DNA and all that shit in the Yeah, to get every, they're trying to get everybody to go into Ancestry.com, one, to make money, and to two, to keep a data log on you. DNA evidence, on, DNA um, science only works for evidential stuff 100%. All that Ancestry stuff is nonsense. It's absolute nonsense. There's people who get dog saliva and got a country back. How, how does that work? That DNA ancestry stuff is nonsense. Help them out here. I need First Thessalonians 5 and 21. Alright? What whoever told you you were African and you got stuff mixed in you is lying to you. I'm telling you on the street. And we all were told that at some point in our life. We black people. We the niggas are here. We the descendants of slaves. We also are the real Jews and the Bible. Right. Where your four people come from? Where your forefathers come from? The father and grandfather. Are they from here? The Caribbean? Dominica? Where? From here, where? Down south? North Carolina, maybe? Yeah. You are Negro, brother. You ain't no African. That's right. I'm going to tell you straight up. You are Negro. Now you can't look at it as the same thing because they don't look at it as the same thing. Africans come to DC and take over. DC used to be what? Chocolate City. You see in Chocolate City no more. Africans all in the um, prison system, you know, the prison guards all over the police force, everywhere else. Africans come over here and thumb the nose of others. U Street used to be black. Now it's run by Ethiopians. All these parking lots is run and owned by Ethiopians. If black and African is the same thing, how come we ain't getting all the wealth? How come we ain't getting the wealth like them? How come they're keeping it separate? For we not the same. Right. Read. First Thessalonians 5 and 21. First Thessalonians. Listen, brother. I'm, 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 say again. It's a work ethic. No sweat. If, if they're gonna. So you saying they have a better work ethic than us? I'm asking you a question. I'm asking you a question, brother. You talk a lot, but I realize you don't listen. Are you saying they have a better work ethic than us? 
I get you. Well, let me ask you this. The government is giving them yeah. the grants and stuff when they come over here. Right. They, won't even give they wouldn't give it to us, right? But you say it's because of us, because we don't have a work ethic, right? All right. Why didn't America go enslave them to build a country if their work ethic is so good? You said they have a better work ethic than us. I'm asking you, if that's true, why didn't America enslave the Ethiopians to build America? Why didn't they enslave the East Indians to build America? Why didn't they enslave the, the Mogadishu and Somalians to build America? Why did they enslave us if we so lazy? No, because we are the hardest working people in the world. That's right. We're the right. smartest people in the world. That's right. What you're telling me is called propaganda, and it's a part of self-hatred, brother. You can't tell me we built the greatest country on planet Earth. Do you understand that? Do you understand that World War II? Um, you have to listen. I just told you about it. But hold on, I'm talking though. Hold on, I'm talking though. At least you can listen. At least you, that's probably why you're lost. You ain't listening. World War II was won because America used Native Indian code talkers to get past the Gestapo. Native Indian people whose land this was helped save America. America was able to sell spaceships to the moon because the first calculators wasn't computer, wasn't computers, but was black women doing the math. Why wasn't that East Indians and Chinese? If we so lazy, you buy into this. But you just said that. You said they have a better work ethic. Well, let's talk about the people in your in your era right now. Right now, right now, the people in your you say the people in your era is criminals. In DC. Yeah. What, about, what about the white people that shoot up the schools that was born here that was never in slavery? Are they criminals? They're criminals. What about the Chinese? More than us. More than us, thank you. You just redeem yourself. Give him a hand. Give him a hand. So then you should not call us criminals like if that's what we do. We learn it from them. We learn it from them. That is, that is even negligent. That's not affecting nothing. No crime we do could supersede America stealing people. Right or wrong? Give him a hand, man. Give him a hand. No crime we do could ever. The white man is the criminal of the earth. The biggest criminal. He's a criminal in space. Everywhere he goes, crime. Now back to the point. We ain't African. You gotta let that one go. Let me get one scripture for you, brother. Go ahead. First Thessalonians, chapter First, First Thessalonians, chapter 5, verse 21. Prove all things. Say it again. Prove all things. Say it again. Prove all things. The Bible says, prove all things. Whoever told you you was African and you was mixed, they had to prove that. Without proving that, that's a lie. We can prove everything we say. Read it one more time. Prove all things. Go hold fast that which is good. And hold fast to that which is good. This knowledge here, brother, that we the real Jews, that's good knowledge. Yeah, that's right. Trying to call us African. I'm not saying you pushing it, but you believe in it is a disservice to yourself. Say again. Oh boy. Well, if you know what happened if, before, then if, before, if, you're, if, you're, if your great 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 grandfather was African, you wouldn't be standing here today as the descendants of slaves. Because Africa sold children of Israel into slavery. Right. That's in the Bible. The Bible dictionary, give me time in the Bible dictionary. I'm going to show you in the Bible here, brother, where Romans always sold us. The Africans, the Africans always sold us to Always sold us to white people. Always. Go ahead. Say that one more time. Even if they did, the people in Israel, and they fled to Africa, uh -huh. the people might have been there for 50 years or whatever. Oh, they were there for hundreds of years. We were there for hundreds of years. Isn't it the same thing? What's the difference? No, because again, you are the seed of your father. And in this Bible, we have laws not to intermarry. Biblically, interracial marriage is a sin. 
we would have stayed amongst our people. Are you come to class, we get more in history. When we were in those, among those African countries, the same in Babylon, it's in book two, it tells you that we formed communities of ourselves. And over time, we started prospering more than the Africans and they hated us for it. You could go and um, look up, where's that place that Charles Taylor went? Liberia? Sierra Leone or Liberia? Liberia, I think. You could go look up Liberia. The Africans around hated the ex-slaves from America who went and helped found Liberia. Because still to this day, they say Charles Taylor was the worst thing that happened to Africa. Why? Because they wasn't getting rich off us. We was living amongst ourselves, spending amongst ourselves, because we in Africa. Now let me show you it in the Bible. Read. Joel chapter 3, verse 3. Go ahead. And they have cast lots. For my people, they have cast lots for our people. They gamble for us, huh? They gamble with our lives. They play games all in these Congress everywhere with our lives. Go ahead. And have given a boy for a harlot uh -huh. and sold a girl for wine. And they have given a boy for a harlot and sold a girl for wine. That's what they do with our young people. They trade our young people for pleasure. So when you see our young people being, as you say, criminals, it's not because they want to. It's because they're destroying us. Go ahead. That they might drink. Give me verse 6. Come, come. Verse 6. The children also of Judah uh -huh. and the children of Jerusalem. Who are the children of Judah and the children of Jerusalem? These 12 tribes here. The 12 tribes are the children of Judah who are the real Jews and the children of Jerusalem. They're the 12 tribes of Israel. Read it again from the top. Verse 6. The children of Judah and the children of Jerusalem had he sold unto the Grecians, Grecians uh -huh. that they might remove them far from their borders. These Africans, it tells you here, Tyre and Zidon, that's in this chapter. They're the ones who sold us to the Grecians to remove us from our borders. And in the 614 to 15 to 1600s, they did the same thing to the Italians and to the Spaniards. They sold us to them. Who's the Africans? The Hamites. No, our our people come from Jerusalem. You know that information. Mother. Our people come from Israel. Let me give you it here. Bible dictionary. Go ahead. Come on. And the youngest son of Noah, born probably about 96 years before the flood, and one of eight persons to live through the flood. He be Ham, you know who Ham is, right? Ham is one of the sons of Noah. Ham, Shem, and Japheth. Remember Noah, when he flood, he had a ark. He took his wife, his three sons, and their wives. Ham is the father of the dark nations. That's where you reach? Go ahead. He became the progenitor of the dark races, not the Negroes. He became the what? The progenitor of the dark races. This, this um, Bible dictionary said Ham is the father of the dark races, but not the Negroes. That's talking about it. He is the father of the Africans, not the Negroes. We are the Negroes. Let's see who Faham is father of. But the Egyptians, father of the Egyptians, where's Egypt? Africa. Ethiopian, where's Ethiopian? Africa. Libyan. Libyans, where's Libya? Africa. Canaanites. Canaanites. Canaan, Canaan is the biblical name for the South Africans. Where's that? Africa. Ham. Ham is the father of the Africans. Ham is the father of the Africans. You understand what I'm saying? Do you believe that it was a time before they ever wrote anything or anything came in books, writing and all that? You believe that the Jews were from Earth before they ever started writing? No. Do you think they changed writing and speaking language? Yes. What's the proof? They call, they call, they got proof. It's in cages. It's in caves. They got writings on wall. They got right. That's the start of time. They got writings on walls and caves. Man used to write in stone. What do you mean we don't know that, brother? You like to doubt a whole lot. Let me ask you this: You have an African you love in your life? There's an African that you actually love, your girlfriend or something like that, or, or a homeboy that's African. Okay, you you fight in spread a whole lot. Yeah. Writing is a form of communication. Now, if you're asking me, if you're asking me that we did we always talk English? No. But everybody had some sort of language or symbols to communicate. 
It's unclear who all to this day. Well, prove it, prove all things. What's the proof? Well, I, I can prove that we wrote on stones before. Before this, I can prove that we wrote on stones. You have a phone, smartphone? Hold on, I'm asking. You see, you don't need something else somebody wrote. No. 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 No, it's not something that somebody wrote. You can pull up his in your phone right now. Google the Bath Creek Stone. Google it. Say again. What do you mean before history? How we can have before history? You don't think it was nothing before people started the You don't think you don't think it was on earth before people started writing things? People always wrote and make symbols. So how would you communicate? How would you communicate? How would you say to a man, I want this table to look like this? How would you say, don't drink that water? Put up a sign saying bad water. How would you do that? You have to have some sort of symbols. It's communication. Don't believe that nonsense that the caveman and nobody wrote and then they found language. That's nonsense, brother. And that's in the Bible. The Lord gave language to mankind once he created them. Don't believe that nonsense. Read on. Let's get out. Oh, God. His, his indecency. Right, Ham is the father. Ham. Ham became the progenitor of the dark races, not the Negroes, but the Egyptians, Ethiopians, Libyans, and Canaanites. His indecency. Right, he's the father of the Egyptians and the Ethiopians and the Canaanites, not the Negroes. I see your problem. You don't. You don't want to listen. You want. You belong to believe in yourself. Say again. Prove it. Prove it's made for millions of years. Listen, I can tell you. According to the biblical record, it ain't millions of years. Yep, it ain't millions of years. How do you know it's made of millions of years? I'm about to disprove you right now. So how, wh where you get that idea from that it's millions of years old? Where you get the idea from? Where did you get that idea from it's millions of years old? Oh, you just thought that. That, that, that ain't what the white man teaches. That's not what the white man teaches, that the earth is millions of years old. You list, that's, that's a spontaneous thought in your head. So why, how you get to millions? Oh, but better you say that. Don't say it's millions of years old. Just say you don't know. Just say you don't know how old it is, and that's fine. I think nobody. Well, it's recorded in the Bible. It's biblically recorded in the Bible. The, 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 the earth is a few thousand years old, somewhere in the neighborhood of fourteen to sixteen thousand years. All that DNA stuff they do, not DNA. What do they call it? Carbon dated. That's what they say. They take some old fossil and carbon date it and say, well, according to the heat exposure, this fossil got to be millions of years old. Later on, they found out that if you burn something, you can change the heat exposure, and that could throw off the carbon dating. So how they know that thing wasn't burned? There's, you, you can't find anything that's, where's the record of millions of years old? There's none. But there's a record here saying it's 14 to 16,000 years old. Appreciate that, brother. Thank you. Grab a flyer. See the brothers at the table, man. They're going to give you a flyer. Tell you where the classes is at, man. Somebody's going to hear the word of the Lord. Hold this here for me, brother. Now, for, for you who say, hold on, we ain't getting into the millions of the years yet. No, no, she can't save you. She can't save you. I know you're looking for a savior. Hold on. Let's get back to the Africans, all right? Let's get back to the Africans. You, you understand? I realize your, your issue, you ain't want to listen to nobody. You want to listen to yourself. Do you even believe in God? Do you believe in God? Do you believe in God? Do you believe in yourself, though? Yeah. You believe in yourself? How you believe in yourself? How you know you read? How you know you read? What do you mean you hear? What does that mean? What does that mean you hear? How you know you're not somewhere else and you're dreaming right now? How you know you're not some AI, some kind of robot? How you know? You believe in yourself and you don't believe in God. That's the problem, brother. And I'm scared for you and your life right now, for the life you probably live in. Not believing in God is probably hard, some horrible things you, you're done doing or undertaking. You might want to change your life, brother, and listen. You gain good knowledge here. It's up to you to you know, leave it alone.
Yeah. Babylon is fun.